Hello, welcome to FreeCAD's Electromagnetic Workbench Tutorial by Fastfit Solvers. Let me remind you that Workbench is in beta development stage and at present supports the popular inductance solver Fast Enric. Uh, in this video, we'll build upon the previous one that was uh, how to build uh, a conductive plane in which we show how you could make a trace over a ground plane which is sort of uh, interrupted. Uh, we'll build upon this previous exercise that, by the way, you can save and, and uh, reload again because now the workbench fully supports saving and loading of the models. Uh, and we see how we can leverage the uh, parametric capabilities of FreeCAD to uh, parameterize some of the objects. For instance, uh, in this example, let's try to change the length of the uh, uh, conductive plane and keep this node. Uh, if you want to uh, align it to the change in length. So the relative position of this node with respect to the right hand side uh, of the plane uh, will stay the same. Okay, so now this node in, is in relative position. Okay, let's see from the bottom. Okay, the relative position is 30. The overall ground plane has length of 40. So we can see from the basic rectangle that its length is 40. So let's remember this parameter, that's rectangle length 40. Okay, so in case of this node, we'll make the node actually link it to the dimension. So the rectangle, rectangle top length okay, minus 10 millimeter. Okay. So now we made this node link it. To the dimension of the plane. Of course, we have to make the same also for the other node, which is on top. Uh, that's the one that's connected to the segment. So let's switch to visualization on top. In this case, we'll see the, the coordinate is different because you may remember that this node is not in the relative plane coordinate system. Okay, so if you want to make it uh, uh, link it to the plane, we have to use a different formula. So we have to uh, shift it at 20 millimeters and not 10. So that's again rectangle dot length okay minus 20 millimeters. Oh, and that's it. So now our nodes are both linked to the dimension of the plane. So we can now switch to the, the basic rectangle, increase the length, let's say 50. Okay, and we'll see that magically the plane has changed the shape. But this node is still in this relative position with respect to the right hand side edge of the plane. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and see you soon for further updates.